Welcome to Tronop Chemistry Classes. In this video, I am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic, Acids Basis. In this Acids Basis concept, this is my ninth video. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to calculate the pH of a solution. How to calculate the pH of a solution. pH of a solution. Thank you for watching Trinath Chemistry Classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel. In my previous video, I have discussed about pH scale, which was introduced by Thoran Sale. And pH is the negative logarithm of hydronium ion concentration. And pOH is the negative logarithm of hydroxyl ion concentration. So, in order to calculate pH or pOH, so to calculate pOH, pH, we need the concentration of hydronium ion or H plus ion. And to calculate the pOH, we need to know concentration of hydroxyl ion. So, for strong acids and strong bases, how to calculate the pH and pOH of the solution? So, let me take example. Calculate the pH of 0 0.001 molar HCl solution. 0 0.00 molar one aqueous solution of HCl. So we know that HCl is dissociating as H plus and Cl minus. So as the concentration of, given that concentration of HCl is equal to 0 0.001 molar, so concentration of H plus is equal to what is happening? 0 0.001. So I am writing this. 0 0.001 as 1 by 1000 and 1 by 10 cube and 10 to the power of minus 3 here. Right? As after this small 3 points are there, I am writing 1 by. Suppose if it is 0 0.01. So after this small, there are 2 places. That's why 1 by 100. So I can write it as a 1 by 10 square and 10 to the power of minus 2. 10 to the power of minus 2. Now what is the hydronium ion concentration? 10 to the power of minus 2. So pH is equal to minus log 10 to the power of minus 3. So we know that log a power m is equal to m log a. So that's why it is becoming minus into minus 3 into log 10 base 10. So we know that log a base a is 1. That's why minus into minus plus. So that's why pH is equal to. Suppose if pOH is asked for the same solution. So first you calculate the pOH. And pOH is equal to 14 minus pH. That's why 14 minus 3 which is equal to 11. So this is the one kind of problem. So this is the only, we know that as strong acids and strong bases dissociate completely the concentration of either acid or base completely equal to concentration of hydronium ion and hydroxyl ion concentration respectively. So if it is a strong acid, if it is a strong acid, the cons as it dissociates completely, as it is a strong acid, it dissociates completely. That's why whatever concentration we have taken, it is completely dissociating and giving H plus ion concentration. So this is one kind of problem. So there is a, another version. There are three versions, the three kinds of problems in this pH. Calculate the pH of 0 0.005 molar HPS. So, sulfuric acid is a dibasic acid. Dibasic, what we are saying, so it is come to come, the structure is like this. As two hydrogens are connected to the oxygen, more electronegative element. That's why it is a dibasic acid. Dibasic acid. So, now H2SO4 is dissociating as. 2H plus N, SO4, 2 SO4, 2 And the concentration of H2SO4 is given as 0 0.005 molar. Now, you see, as it is given 0 0.005 molar, one H2SO4 molecule is giving two hydroxyhydronium ions. That's why its concentration is written in 2 into 0 0.05 molar. So now, what is the concentration of hydronium ions? 2 into 0 0.005, which is equal to 0 0.01, which is nothing but 10 to the power of minus. Now, what is the pH? pH is equal to minus log H plus. That's why minus log 
10 to the power of minus 2, which is corresponds to 2, which is corresponds to 2. So this is regarding pH pH of solution, right? So here, if it is a monobasic, the concentration of acid is nothing but concentration of hydronium ions. If it is a dibasic, that we have to multiply with the 2. If it is a tribasic, so whether it is a given acid is a dibasic or tribasic, which it was discussed in normal case, so the replaceable hydrogen is called basicity. The replaceable hydrogen means hydrogen which is attached to the more electronegative elements such as oxygen, such as oxygen. So this is the second kind of problem. Now there is a one more question. pH of calculate the pH of 0 0.0011 molar MaOH solution. Now we know that MaOH is a base and which gives is dissociating as Na plus and OH minus. And concentration of MaOH is given as 0 0.001. So, as concentration of any so calculate the pH of 0 0.001 molar NaOH. So, NaOH concentration is given as 0 0.001. So, NaOH is a base which gives hydroxyl ion concentration. Then, that's why we can determine the pOH. So, pOH is equal to minus log OH minus, which is corresponds to lag time to the power of minus 3. This is equal to 3. Then we know that PUH plus PUH is equal to 14 and the PH is equal to 14 minus PUH. So 14 minus 3, which is the response to that. Right? So straight away for monobase, monobasic acids and for polybasic acids and then PH of bases, if they ask, then we have to first calculate the PUH. Then based on the relation PUH plus PUH is equal to 14, calculate the constant pH of the NaOH solution. So this is the, these are the problems which are most important for intermediate public examination point of view. Thank you for watching Trinath chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel.